All right, hello, welcome to another video. My name is Robert Jugon, aka Zach, and today we're heading down to the spit for a snorkel. Hopefully to check it out, it should be good. Although we went down yesterday just to see what it was like because we haven't been snorkeling for a while. The conditions weren't that great. Visibility probably like two to three meters. So we're hoping that we get down there early today get some more footage done. I'll show you the footage from yesterday as well. Saw some cool things. Um, there was a lot of rubbish. I'll talk to you guys about what I want to do in the new year uh, and the goals I want to accomplish. And there was some cool creatures. Even though the visibility wasn't that great, there was some cool sea creatures, uh, some cool footage that I got down there uh, that I will talk to you guys about. So, yeah. Hope to see some more cool things. And the visibility is a lot better than yesterday because we're getting down there early so we should get on incoming hopefully incoming tide i can't remember but it should be high tide or incoming tide one of the two it should be good should be a lot of fun still christmas week so a merry christmas to all of you although you guys won't be seeing this until a while so uh merry christmas from past me and i hope you had good holidays so Let's just get it rolling. Play the intro. Okay, so it's that time of the video again. I haven't done this for a while. It's been a long time since I've actually filmed or recorded a documentary piece in these videos. But, it is time for Facts with Zach. And this is where you guys learn, attain information, take it in through your ear holes, and store it in your memory bank about the majesty of our oceans and about the cool stuff that is out there and the stuff that you guys can see. But before I get to that, enjoy one minute of beauty from the Gold Coast Spit. Now that we're back, hope you enjoyed that, and let's get right into the facts. Okay, so first species on our list, the South Australian cobbler, or known as the devil fish, soldier fish, or just cobbler, will typically reside in shallow to deep waters of zero to 35 meters around seagrass, estuaries and rocky areas such as the spit along the Gold Coast. These little guys are a master of disguise, blending into their surroundings with its mottled brown coloration as you can see. They will lay motionless and hidden amongst the rocks or foliage and ambush their prey, typically feeding on fish or smaller crustaceans. But do not get too close to these organisms as they have highly venomous spines on their heads and tails. These spines will cause an intense pain for 12 hours. So my advice, do not touch them if you see them in the water. And if you're walking through shallow grassy areas or shallow reefs, wear reef shoes or dive boots to protect yourself from these organisms 
because this venom can potentially affect the cardiovascular system, causing fatalities, which we do not want at all. Okay, next species on our list is the common Sydney octopus. Typically found in the warm waters of Eastern Australia and New Zealand, these guys are brown with orange to rust red colors on their arms. They will typically have large papillae which can be raised to form a spiked appearance or make them look as if they are seaweed. In saying that, they have this really cool ability to change their color whenever they please and this can be used as a mating ritual to fend off predators as a warning sign or to typically just blend in with their surroundings and make them invisible to a lot of prey and predators. You'll typically find these organisms in the intertidal rocky shores and more recently they've been found in large quantities along rocky reefs in the eastern coasts of Australia. They are highly territorial creatures so this guy allowing me to get as close as I could with the camera was quite <clears throat> a, what's the word I'm looking for, was quite a great or memorable experience uh, as he probably was not camera shy uh, and was boasting about his cool uh, appearance. All right, let me tell you something. Let's get some air pumping, it's hot in here. So, here's what's happening. I'm going home, currently, because I've got to do some uploading and editing. The only way I can do that is back home, because there's no internet on the boat. The only internet is at the club, and it's not that great. So, I figured best way to do that is go home, get it all done there. First though, I need to go to Sporty's Warehouse, which is probably like a 15 minute drive from where I am, because they've got some stuff that I need. So Sporty's Warehouse is a warehouse for sports equipment. What do you know? Crazy, right? So they've also got dive equipment. And what I need to get is a water resistant bag, some new dive gloves, because the ones I have are torn. And I gotta get anti-fog cream. I think that's what it's called. Uh, for dad's mask, and I'll probably use it too anyway, because his mask fogs over. So I've gotta go do that. Bring you guys along with me. My hand stick this little bit here. Look at this. Look at that. This. What are you doing? Stay down. Honestly, it's just not working out. Not how I want it to. Yeah. So there's not much I can say. I guess I will see you guys when I get back. Bye. Actually, see you guys when I get the sporties. I lied. It's a 16 minute drive. I'll be right back. Don't miss me too much. A few inches later. I'm sitting in this car, it's so hot outside, with the aircon on, and I'm sweating up a storm. It's like Niagara Falls decided to relocate onto my body, and I'm not impressed. I'm not happy. Body, what are you doing? Calm down. We're in aircon. Cold, sweet, beautiful aircon. <sighs> Alright, I'm back. And here's the haul. So we got Amarez, water resistant bag. So I can protect you guys whenever we go out in the tender. I also got new dive gloves, like I said, Mares. Always Mares. Always. Best brand, in my opinion. Best brand. I'll chuck their Instagram down below. Check them out. They've got some cool stuff. 
Uh, I also got anti-fog because dad needs that for his goggles to keep fogging up. Best way to do it. So if you're, if, before you guys put anti-fog on your go goggles, before you put anti-fog on your goggles, the best thing that you guys can do, chuck a bit of toothpaste on that bad boy. Toothpaste? Damn. I had coffee before too. Why am I slurring my words? Chuck a bit of toothpaste on that bad boy. Rinse it out. Wait a couple of minutes. Chuck your anti-fog on there. You'll be sweet. Secondly, I got some pre-workout. I can't grab it. I got some pre-workout for 30 bucks. Bargain, I'm telling you. Pre-workout is not cheap and it's been months since I've had, consistently had pre-workout. So this will be interesting to see how I go. See you guys when I get back home. Right, so I've arrived home. It's been a while since I've been here. It's been quite some time. But I'm here, I'm home. And I have some stuff that I need to do. Actually, quite a lot of stuff that I need to get done. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else I need to open up. Probably nothing else, really. Nothing else, nothing else. But yeah, so I'm home. If this camera will focus. Come on, buddy. I know you can. Maybe I've got to stand out here. Ooh. There we go. So, I said, arrived home. Everything's ready. I've got to pack everything away. <sighs> Do some editing and whatnot. Fix up a few things before I upload this video, so it's probably gonna get uploaded late, which is what I don't want. But it happens because it was Christmas, or well, it still is Christmas week. Things are behind, but that happens, I guess, you know. Things go, things happen. But yes, I have stuff that I need to get done. And I still have to record or document the parts for the snorkel that I just did. Fun. I'll stop talking and go do that. And I'll see your faces, well, you will see my face in a second. Bye. For now.